Hi, I'm Jaden, and tonight we're here in Melbourne for the opening night of The King and I. After playing to sell out crowds and rave reviews in Brisbane, the show has arrived here at the Princess Theatre. Let's hit the red carpet and check it out. Um, so, Winners and Losers is just coming up in the next little while. Yes, it um, is. Obviously, there's a lot of complicated storylines going on with that. Um, what can viewers expect from that in the next couple of weeks? Oh, well, there's some sad things happening over the next three, three shows, I'm afraid. And some happy things, but... Um, yeah, people come and go, and and you know I don't want to tell you anything. Otherwise, yeah. I would be forced to yeah. take um, out a contract on that. Yeah. But yeah, there's it gets a bit dark, and it, then it gets light again. Yeah. Um, and the King and I, that's um, a production that's been around for a while. Have you seen it before? And if not, um, what are you looking forward to most about the show tonight? Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Lisa McCune because I think she's fabulous. Music theatre, well, she's a fabulous performer, but music theatre is just an area where she seems to seems to be her home. So I'm really looking forward to seeing. I have not seen The King and I. Um, I uh, I really don't know what's gonna what it's about. Even. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Lisa McCune's in it. So there you go. There's a there's a bit of a bit of thing I know. Yeah, I have seen it before, but I'm looking forward most of seeing uh, Lisa McCune up on stage. Uh, she's a uh, well, she's actually almost a friend of mine. Our, our kids actually go to school together. And I saw Lisa this morning, pre-makeup, uh, at about 7 o'clock. And she even looked good then. But uh, I think I love musicals, and uh, the Princess Theatre is fantastic. Uh, you've got Jason also in the lead role. So I think it's one of those plays where you come out humming, you come out singing, and uh, Rogers and Hammerstein, you don't go wrong with this sort of production. Oh, well, Lisa, Lisa, of course. You know, I always look forward to catching up with Lisa. Whether I will or not, I don't know. But I've heard nothing about it, and I've never seen it on stage before. I've seen the movie, of course, but uh, anyway, looking forward to it. Um, career-wise for the rest of um, 2014. Well, I'm working on a, um, a BBC4 radio program at the moment for uh, London, in England. You can listen to it here. It'll be, it'll be on next year sometime. Okay. Um, and other, other things, bits and bobs. No worries. Yeah, excellent. Um, so we're here at The King and I tonight. Have you seen the show before? And if not, what are you looking forward to most about seeing it tonight? Getting to know you. <laughs> I've seen the film, that's all. I've never seen it live, I've never seen the stage musical, and I'm looking forward to Lisa and the costumes. Um, and Winners and Losers, that's just about to start back on TV. We spoke to your um, on screen husband just earlier tonight. What? Is he out with someone else? Um, and Brian, where are you? And, um, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and uh, what can we expect from that this year? Well, there's a, a lot of drama, I can say that. Look at you being pushed out of the way of the camera. Um, yes, yes, a lot of drama. Uh, what can... Oh, I can't give anything for you. I really can't. I'll be there at the sink peeling carrots. Don't you worry about that. Oh, no, I've given away the story now. I'm sorry. That's it from The King and I. Remember to follow us on Twitter and check us out online. We'll catch you next time somewhere down Celebrity Lane.